Okay, let's take a little bit of time and talk about a thesis statement. Uh, all a thesis statement does is take your research question and create a type of a roadmap to tell the reader where you plan to take them uh, throughout your paper. So if you have a primary source document, you read it, you know what it's about, and you've created a research question that helps us probe that, creates a, a little bit of intrigue or interest in that, in that document, now you have some type of a, a direction of what you want to do. You have the points. You might have two points or three points or a dozen points. For a, a short paper, uh, you can have two to three points that might be of interest uh, that all have some type of evidence or proof in that primary source document. So you wouldn't want to introduce any real new material uh, other than what's in the document. So you want to be able to uh, peel it back like an onion and, and see what elements are in the primary source document. So it's not going to be a question. The thesis statement is going to be some really short, think of it as a really short summary of what your answer is going to be. So if your research question might be something to the effect of uh, uh who are indentured servants and why did they come to the new world? Now, the document might say something about uh, the contract and what the qualifications were for an indentured servant, something to that effect. So if you had some type of a original document, you've located it in Library of Congress or archives.gov or in one of our databases, now you have something substantial that you can write about. And so you're going to see what you know about this now is that people came to the New World as indentured servants because they wanted a new chance of life. Uh, they were heavily in debt, and they found a, a good way for them to, them to promote themselves and their families to give them a, a second chance. It was very risky, uh, so that might be one of those things that you'll talk about, what type of risk they were willing to take. So think about three or four of those elements, and then you write about it. Tell us what it meant. Now, you can expand a little bit uh, using a secondary resource and say uh, what it meant, uh, what the economy was like, where they came from, uh, why it was important to find a new world. You know, those kind of things can help, but you don't want to stray too far off the path. You want to stay as close to that primary source evidence as you possibly can, and then begin to. Uh, Flesh it out. And when you have it just in a statement, one to two sentences, if you have to go to three sentences, go ahead. Uh, but don't make a whole paragraph out of it. Just make it really short. Thesis statement should be just that. It's just a statement. Then you can go into an introductory paragraph if you want to later, and then begin to hit the different paragraphs uh, that would talk about those elements that you found very interesting. When you get to the end of your paper, you want to restate that thesis statement in a way as a conclusion, say, therefore, as I have already stated, dot, 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 dot. You want to hit those main points again and re-emphasize what it is that you think was the most important part of your paper. And that's really how a thesis statement should work. It shouldn't be any more complicated than that. When you submit this to me, be sure that you use APA form. Always use proper grabber, one inch uh, margins all the way around, uh, Times, Roman, uh, Times New Romans uh, for font, uh, double space uh, is nice. Uh, and so try not to, and 12 point font. Uh, so try not to uh, do anything uh, you know, very florid. Uh, you don't need to put any artwork on it or use uh, special color paper, anything like that. Just make it a nice, clean report with the APA style cover page, running head, page numbers, uh, the title, your name, uh, the name of the course, my name, and the, the really we want to know what it is that you're writing about so that you should have at least that page uh, and then a second page that is really uh, the thesis statement. No more than that. If you have to include a reference page because you might want to introduce the 
uh, reference that uh, or the citation from the primary source document, you can. That's fine. Uh, it's not required, but at this level, when we get a little bit further along, you will be doing an annotated bibliography for me, and then you'll have more things to write about. That's it for now, and uh, look forward to seeing you in class, all right? If you have any questions, send me an email or a message on Blackboard. Thank you.